howdy do there people i hear uh on my dinghy uh and no front no front uh electronics but as you can see got that marker buoy over there now i do have my side imaging little 798 running back there at the back so uh i'll be able to find my stumps and uh I ain't gonna tell you that I'm gonna catch no bunch of open water fish and then can't prove it. So uh, we gonna fish some stumps on my old Lake Houston out here and uh, see if we can't catch a few fish. Uh, this is my first day back out crappie fishing after my little ordeal with my with my kidney stone. And uh, I can't still can't uh, manage uh, dealing with my, my doggo right now. Uh, just don't wanna get out here and then get in a situation to where I got to do some straining. I can't do no heavy lifting right now. Uh, so I do when uh, live scoping is, is use uh, split shots, but I'm not live scoping today. So just, just, just fishing. So the one thing that I'm going to for sure do is uh, remove these split shots. Split shots work great for uh, live scoping. And not worth two cents when it comes to just fishing. I've had a bunch of guys that uh, challenged me to just come out and just fish and catch some fish. But uh, I've sort of, you know, live scoping is a lot of fun. Uh, I like it a lot. But it's like I say all the time, you don't have to have it. And I know we got a lot of live scope babies out here. And what I mean by that is they pop up on the scene when when a live scope come up. Uh, you can see the fish in the jig and all of that. It's not necessary to do that. Uh, I'm, I'm the OG to this uh, crappie fishing thing. I've been I've been busting limits and swinging slabs long before uh, live scope was even thought of. So we're gonna get up here on this marker buoy and uh, put some fish in the boat. Try to, try to. Let's see if we can make it happen. What you think? You think it's gonna happen? I don't know. Let's see. We're gonna find out. Let's go get them. Well, bam. It's without no front electronics. I just put a marker buoy out. Drop down there. Took a little bit. Missed, got one up top. Missed another one. But you see what it is. You see what it is. You don't have to have live scope to come out and catch these fish. Sure feel good. For all you live scope babies out there. Live scope just had y'all. Buddy, I've been at this for a while. Woo woo. Woo woo. You're not very aggressive, I know that much. Fishing over 10 foot of water on a stump. What this lake is known to produce fish off of. You know, I just come out here and give them what they want, you know. And that's the biggest thing with, with uh, crappie fishing is, is uh, giving them what they want, listening to them. Consistency mean a lot. Oh, <laughs> they're not very aggressive today at all. I am using, uh, having to use a crappie nibble, but uh, that's, that's uh, uh, something that's known on this lake too, is uh, using scent works well. On most lakes just uh doing what you get the best result off of and that's uh that's what I measure results sort of like the numbers game winds variable is really light the lake is right at flat uh, I hate it when it's like that but hey it is what it is I got my second marker buoy that I'm probably going to toss out here in a little bit because 
I don't think my first uh, marker is is uh, directly on the stump. All three of the fish that I've caught has been away from my marker buoy. Not too far, but you don't want it right on top of it because then it can get in the way. This is finesse fishing all the way around right here. Got a 116 number four hook and uh, on a hand tie just because that's what I had on this rod. Got a limits tackle plastic on my other rod. I'll probably be trying it here in a little bit. Now this just take your time uh, and get that jig. You know, I like to fish the brush pile or the stump from the top down. And uh, it's just slowly working that jig, giving it a little action and uh, holding it still a lot. Uh, using my imagination of what I feel down there, where the fish could be positioned on this brush on this stump. Usually, bright sunny day like today, they will probably be on the lower bottom end of it, and down there in that root system. And I'm uh, just working that jig through it, giving it a little action. And it's like I say, they're not, they're really not, they're not aggressive. So there ain't no massive thump. They're just barely, barely ticking that jig. But I'm going to do a lot of moving around today. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to stay out. It is supposed to get pretty warm today. But uh, we'll see. We shall see. Feels good to be out here chasing the old crappie. Even though I don't have my live scope. It ain't necessary. But I like them challenges. And crappie fishing especially without live tech is a it's, it's a challenge with live scope too but it really is a challenge with uh without live scope oh yeah oh yeah that's a black crappie right there y'all those three were were uh white crappie that's a black crappie he's a nice little keeper 11 and a half he gonna get flayed today guy here smacking the old crappie with no electronics. I've been challenged to this. And uh it's not by it's not by uh <laughs> it's not because I want to be out here doing this, but hey, it's all fun. See if I can catch one on film for y'all. It's been it ain't fast action. You know, I ain't gonna lie to you about that just that I'm just slanging them in the boat. That ain't happening. But I'm not getting ready to sit here and just run this camera and uh, not not catching fish back to back. But I will show you my catches and show you that uh, it is possible. Let's see if we can get one while I'm while I'm recording. He hit it a little aggressive. He hit it kind of aggressive. When when was out of the north? That was a missed hit right there, y'all. The wind was out of the north, uh, but it's it's turning south now, so uh, that may be uh, maybe what's going to get them get them on the move. Just never know. Oh, that's a small one. That may even be a bluegill. Way that was hitting, it was a hit. It was a hit. So, you know, I, 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 uh, a lot of guys come out and and uh, while they're running, they got their life vest on. Uh, especially those crappie guys. But, uh, that was a snag. Luckily, I got it back. Straighten my hook out just a little bit. But, uh, you know, it's not always when when we're under power that that things can happen you know i i wear i try to wear my vest 
at all times while on the water. And uh, I highly advise everybody do that. Just never know what's gonna happen, you know? And it's always better to have it on and not need it than need it and not have it on, in my opinion. So always wear your PFDs while be safe, get back to your family safe. We all love coming out here catching these crappie, but we still gotta be safe doing it. And you gotta think of the first responders that, that come out and gotta risk their lives go, going down there searching for you. And it's, just, it's just all the way around, it's just better to wear your PFD. It's like, like a lot of folks say, that's a small fish there. I may have to, I may have to move. Got four fish off this little old stump, and uh, that's pretty good. Without electronics, you know, can't pinpoint where they are. I've worked out most of the sides and uh, top down. And got it in it, up under it, everything else. And I know there's still plenty of fish down there. A lot of us don't understand how much, how many fish hang on these stumps. There's a lot. And uh, that's why they're so prolific. It's because they get in it, up under it. And live scope don't always show it to you, you know. Just don't show it. When I hit that button to turn it off, that's when they hit. I just turned dag on camera off and bam. Okay, I'm gonna let it run for a little bit, y'all. Get this one on ice. And that's another thing. It's it's summertime. This water temp out here 80 degrees. Don't boil your fish by using that live oil. Use that cooler. Keep your fish, your fillets nice and firm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just so that you'll know, I've been at this crappie game for a long time. And I have several informative videos uh, from years past before live scope. So if you don't have live scope and would like to learn to catch crappie or make your crappie game better without using live scope, be sure to go back and uh, look at some of the old playlists that I have before live scope. I put out a lot of good information that will definitely help you catch crappie without live scope. Also, I'm a full time guide in the Houston, Texas area, and I fish the surrounding lakes in the Houston area. And there are some trips that I've done where we do a lot of talking about how to fish without live scope. Uh, live scoping is a lot of fun. It, it helps you put fish in the boat. It shows you their reaction, which is very important. Uh, I'll put up my contact info right here if you wanna get in contact with me to get out on the water and do you a uh, guided trip. They are very informative, and uh, on top of all of that, you get to go home with a nice sack of uh, fresh crappie fillets. All right, y'all. Let's see what the damage is. Yeah, I know it's a sorry video. Didn't show y'all a whole bunch, but uh, let's see what uh, see what we did out there. This is not only no live scope but it's uh oh we i might have time to clean these things might have time to clean these things we're going to see get them lined up and i'm gonna show you guys what we ended up with and uh for the most part orange and short was the ticket uh the sun came out and then went back in. When the sun went back in, they didn't want too much to do with that uh, that orange. I had to go with a Lemmy's tackle uh, pearl, one and three quarter, one and three quarter stinger tail. Anyway, there we go. That's what we ended up ended the day with. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen slabs with no electronics, no electronics. It can be done. Peace out, y'all. Thanks for watching.